The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to start out today a little differently for one good reason. That is, Mr. Z has posted a chart in there on December corn. That is new crop corn, and he's showing you the fact that we could be at some major support here between 519, which was today's low, and 514, which is a little bit lower. I certainly agree with this chart. We're in the midst of the growing season. Not much has changed other than the weather reports are going back and forth all the time. Very, very volatile markets, but I do believe we're going to have a pretty good buying opportunity in the grains here in the foreseeable future. We're only two days, well, actually three days past the holiday, so I think it's important to look at. I have a sad thing to tell you folks. Yesterday afternoon around 3 o'clock, I got a phone call from my good buddy, Arch Crawford, and he told me today was his last day. He is moving back to North Carolina to the old ranch, and he's going to fish and have fun. And he said, he said, I'm just tired of uh, doing it every day for 60 years. And I said, you know, buddy, I said, I know the same thing. Only I don't have a fishing pond to go to. But even if I did, I still enjoy doing it too much. So I'm certainly not going to change anything. But I will miss Arch. He is actually closing the letter down. I told him, I said, Arch, what you should do is at least take a month off. And then your subscribers will understand that because you've been going strong for so many years and i said if you want to come back in a month do it and if you don't then you know then wrap it up but i think i'm a little worried about him actually because i'm afraid because he's been doing this for so long he's going to get bored and that's where i see old age coming in that people to get bored you know that's uh <laughs> that's neither here nor there so that's what i'm looking at right here so keep in mind that uh, you don't always get what you want, but I hope he would change what he's doing. I want to share this one more time here, folks. This is about the Elliott Wave stuff. I don't like to get into arguments because I don't I don't have the answer to this, but uh, this is the Elliott Wave, the way they look at things. We look at things by the way of AB equals CD. That's basically the bottom line. I got that out of page 70. Excuse me. In 1970, out of the Gartley book on page uh, uh, 249, and that's the way I've been doing it ever since, and I can't change it. I'm sure all those guys were really smart. They didn't know what a fractal was until Benoit Mandelbrot told them what it was and back in 76. So I'm sure all of them work. It doesn't make any difference. You get to the same point when you're looking at some of these things, and I think that's the main thing to look at. Uh, I would, was going to try to get Arch on next week because I, I, I always believe that sometime, Ralph, actually one of the few things on my bucket list is I'd like to see a segment on CNBC or Bloomberg or both uh, about the astrology cycles that are out there. Now, that won't come from Terre Haute, Indiana, and it won't come from uh, Hitchcock, South Carolina. It'll come from someplace a whole lot different. It'll come place, you know, out of uh, Oxford, Cambridge, uh, MIT, Stanford, someplace like that. But uh, I believe it's there. You know, Mr. Lowe or Dr. Lowe has talked about it in his books. Uh, I don't have the answer. I gave up looking for it a few years ago. I still use bits and pieces that work pretty good. But basically, it comes down to looking at the patterns. And that's really what I'm, uh, you know, witty what I'm trying to look at as I look at some of these things. Now, I still think that the main chart that we will be watching here in history to go back and look at that will be this one right here. This is the weekly chart. We went above, uh, we almost hit 140, uh, 14,900. We hit 14,888 today. Uh, whether that is going to be the high or not, no one really knows. And I certainly don't. All I know is uh, we will have some pretty good volatility, as Basil was talking about, just a minute, a minute ago. The folks, this tomorrow is one of the most important days in the history of the United States. On July the 8th, 1932, the Dow Jones hit 41, and it had a high in September of that year of 383. So it went from 383 
down to 41. That was a 90% drop in everything. And this is in a time when we have great things like automobiles, electricity, refrigeration. I mean, it, everything was, telephones, I mean, everything was going on technically, and yet the market broke in two years. From, from you know, in, in 1929 to, to, or to 1932, the market dropped 90%. Now, the reason why that date is important is that on July the 7th of 1932, thank you, Basil, I knew it was under 41, I just didn't know the exact one. <laughs> I tell you, I know that's a, it's a standing joke between Basil and I, because I thought for sure that it was uh, on January the 5th, and it was uh, January the 8th. So the, the reason why our restaurant, our restaurant, our family restaurant, Louise's in Terre Haute, Indiana, started on July the 7th, 1932. It's uh, named after my um my great aunt, uh, Louisa, she was the baby in the family on my grandmother's side. And it stayed in the, the uh, family for 77 years, folks. My, my mother started working there when she was 10 years old in the midst of the Depression. You know, she couldn't get, she didn't go past the, the, the fifth grade, I believe, because of the fact that she had to work. And she worked there for uh, 60, I believe 60 years, as I, as I recall, and then when she passed away in 1970. So she was with that, she was in the restaurant business all that time, and they sold it. And uh, one year after they sold it, there was an unusual, mysterious fire that went on, and uh, that was the end of the restaurant. It's now a vacant lot. But uh, one of my favorite stories in that restaurant, I mean, so many of them, because I started peeling carrots when I was seven, and I'd make uh, I'd make 25 cents for each batch of carrots that I did, and uh, it was really, uh, really good. There is a Pesavento's restaurant in, uh, in, in uh, Terre Haute now. He is the great-grandson of one of the uh, one of my dad's sisters uh he's a very very talented chef he's won all kinds of awards and uh but it is it's right there where we used to have the little rock and roll place uh, many many years ago if you ever get the turtle it's great food it's busy as heck my sister said it's uh, it's quite busy so that's uh really uh, it is it's very very interesting i'll share a little bit more of the of the thing with louise's uh one of my favorite stories from Louise, and I'll make this quick because I, I got a whole lot of them. 1978, I'm back there. Uh, I'm at the top of my game in Drexel, man. I'm, you know, bucks up and everything, and they're having a reunion. And so I go back, and we go to Terre Haute. And then first, we all go to, you know, Louise's to eat, and there was about 20 of us. And uh, Bob Thompson, who was the uh, director of uh, ed uh, admissions there at Indiana, was one of my buddies. And he said, come here. He said, I want to introduce you to somebody. So we go into the next room. There was this big gangly looking guy there with his girlfriend and a little baby. And he said, Larry, he said, this is Larry Bird. He said, he's the best basketball player that Indiana has ever seen, even bigger than Oscar Robertson. And I said, Bob, I respect your opinion, however wrong it may be. And I said, young man, I said, if you can live up to that uh, moniker, I said, you're going to really be something. I said, it's a pleasure meeting you. And I said, dinner's on me. So I picked up the check, which turned out to be a pretty good thing over the long period of time. But that was the first time that I had uh, ever met Larry Bird. And of course, he turned out to be not a too bad of a basketball player. But those were the things. My cousin was running the restaurant at that time. Uh, Armin, he passed away about seven months ago. So the whole family, <laughs> there's not many left. I've only got one, uh, one great aunt that's still alive, and she's 92. But the rest of them are doing okay. Um, Okay, I wanted to, uh, there's, you know, we have the Federal Reserve here today, folks. I think they come in at 2 o'clock. Am I correct on the Federal Reserve? 2 o'clock today, is that the 10th floor? rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149.
Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave. Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Hey there, I'm Andy Arbertine with Tiger Precious Metals and Stones. Whether you're looking to buy and sell precious metals or trying to find the perfect diamond ring, I'm here to help. I have over 15 years of experience with diamonds and precious metals. You can call me directly at 727-329-8245 and I'll personally answer any questions you have and help you find exactly what you're looking for. I will be your personal concierge in the metal and stone business. Give me a call today, 727-329-8245. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and I posted a chart of the Russell, and I know, want you to notice that today's low was an exact 78% retracement, folks, to the tick. So these numbers don't work all the time, but when they do, they work some of the time. That's all you can say. Or they help you with risk control, and that's what you're looking at. The two things you want to remember here is that when 786 numbers fail, uh, that's not a good thing. So you need to pay uh, very, very close attention to it. Now, there's one market that we never discuss that I need to bring to your attention, and that is the corporate bond market. And the reason why is there's so much stuff going on in the news about the corporate bond market, it being on fire. And as you can see here, we are setting at the 61% retracement of the high of July of last year. Uh, if you'll notice, those of you that follow the Gartley patterns, you can see here that we are looking at a perfect ABCD pattern up here at this 135 and change. It's probably a, a tad or two higher than that uh, would be my guess. We're also making new highs in Apple and a whole bunch of other stuff because we should. And the reason why is that NASDAQ has been, you know, really moving uh, very, very strongly to the upside. Uh, the, someone always asks me the question just about every day is how do I handle the Fed? And very simple, folks. I got a great, great way of handling the Federal Reserve. I have Shane Smolian come on as my guest because that dude understands what's going on with the Federal Reserve and how they move things around. So I think it's quite important. If you'll remember that uh, – we had a uh, guest on just a few weeks ago. His name was Tim Boston. He'll be on uh, a week from today. And uh, he said that on the 6th of July, we're probably going to see an acceleration strongly to the upside because of the Zeus formation. So that's really what's what's happening. This thing has really exploded. And how much higher it can go is anybody's guess. But you don't have to risk very much, folks. You want to keep your losses as small as possible and your, let your profits run. I know it's a hard thing to do, but by golly, that's the only thing you can do. That's the main thing. I tried to add to a 
with the uh, the short crude oil position last night, and I I sold at the 382, and unfortunately, in the middle of the night, like it was, I only put a 30 pip stop on it, and of course, it went 38 pips higher, knocking me out for an 80 uh, uh, 308 excuse excuse me a 380 dollar loss, and then it immediately dropped three thousand dollars. So um, that those happened, but you know, I still had a regular position. Anyway, let's move on here and talk about some of these other things that that we're looking at uh, right about here as far as housing and stuff folks i i don't really do anything with that i uh, i i never have i've done done a few real estate things in my life i don't you know my biggest things of course uh, had a lot of money tied up with drexel but the gold market folks i started buying gold way back when it was <laughs> back before 72 so it was that was back in the 60s that i started doing it i still have a couple couple of coins left but uh that's the that's the main thing and i had to, i've got a few houses but that's uh, that's really uh really all what it's you know what it's really all about regarding larry williams you know we had him on he told you know he said it would be long gold that was about 50 dollars lower and he said he was in the bonds that's three or four points lower so he's been spot on with that now he's a little cautious on the stock market in here as is uh uh cycles research out of vienna austria so uh, they're also saying you know the advanced decline line is shaking a little bit but that i don't follow too often but uh, there's a few other little things that may or may not cause the market to uh, you know move that uh, any any uh, any lower or any higher so those are some of the things uh, that i needed to uh, mention oh i i do have to say uh, going back to the family stuff about the louise's restaurant uh, my mom worked there as a waitress for oh, 40 years. Let me see, 40 years. She died very young at the age of, uh, she was 49. And, uh, but uh, she worked there all those years and she got to meet several, uh, you know, movie stars. One of the biggest ones that ever came through there was uh, Danny Thomas. And Danny Thomas had eaten at our house several times on a Sunday because uh, his his cousin, his really good, his first cousin lived there and he ran the little grocery store. And uh, so he would come over and maybe twice in the years I was there, Danny Tom, we didn't pay any attention to it because he was just a regular nice guy. We, you know, he's a big movie star, but that's it. Okay. The people, I don't know what this means about on the bull side of the Bull side of the boat. I don't know what that means. Okay, uh, the bulls are uh, sixty percent, and the bears are fifteen. That's a four to one. So that means we've only got seven more weeks of up move, Jimmy. That's all we've got to do. We just have about seven more weeks of upside, and we should top on September the third of uh, two thousand and twenty-one. And that's a joke, folks. I have no idea where the top is. And you know what else, folks? I don't really care. I'm a short-term trader. I know where my strength is, and that's all I try to do. Once in a while, I catch a big one, but by golly, most of the time, I'm not looking at it. Uh, Bill, what is the 1.33 a.m.? Is that the uh, – oh, well, yes, it, uh, Bill, that's corrected, buddy. It's 1.43 a.m. on the 3rd of September. You don't make any extra by calling a top or a bottom, folks. It doesn't make any difference. And the proof to that was was in 19, uh, excuse me, in 2009 when we were making the bottom on March the 5th. That was the easiest bottom that I've ever seen, uh, and uh, it, it 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 was because of so many things: the three drive to a bottom pattern, all the cycles turning, and everybody was in totally bearish. And on the March the 5th of uh, that year, and of course, uh, we double bottomed on the 9th, almost double bottomed, and then we took off and we've been going up uh, pretty much ever since because we're still making new highs. So that's been quite a while. Stop and think, folks. The Dow Jones was at 40.61 back on March or in uh, July the 8th of 1920, uh, 1932. And here, 89 years old, uh, later, it's 900 times higher. Now, that's not even nearly as much as some of the people that have made money in some of these cryptocurrencies and Facebook and Google and all the others. So we'll be able to uh, – these prices uh, – actually, Mr. Z, the uh, the 38 days is, uh, is, is very good. Yes, that's correct, Z. But the number you've got there at 14,891 – it, well, 89 is a fib number, of course, but what's interesting is that's a it's a double 1.618 expansion there at 14,888, and that was the high today. And I don't know if that's going to stay. I probably already went higher, but that's uh, that's what we're watching as we're looking at uh, 
some of these things unfold. So I hope that uh, gives you some idea of what we're looking at and uh, on some of these numbers that we're watching here today. So we need to pay close attention to that. And uh, that's mainly what we're watching so far this morning. If you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. Uh, regarding the grains, folks, I am in the midst of tr trying to finish this grain report. Uh, I've got some preliminary things, but we're not ready yet. And we got I think we got more time to get there because the market is basically it's been it's been emaciated in there. And I think they've done some damage to it technically, but that'll come back because I believe that we're still in the midst of a weather market and we're still in the midst of a demand market. And this could be the best time to do it. When we get back from the break, I'm going to spend just a tiny bit of time uh, with the cryptocurrency stuff. Uh, and also the China with the technical stuff, because I I, uh, I smell a rat, and uh, I'd like to share my rat smell with you. So 877-927-6648 if you have any questions. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, okay, we're back, folks. And I wanted to mention that uh, tomorrow, 
uh, at the afternoon at 3.30 in the afternoon, I'm going to be doing a, um, a podcast for a group of people called Trading Ascension. You'll have to go onto YouTube to find it because I don't have a whole lot of information about it. But uh, Mark's wife, Paula Webb, has been doing it. And uh, she thinks that they've asked me to talk about it. And it's all going to be about the mental part of this. And what I'm going to be talking about, of course, is my relationship with, uh, uh, you know, uh, with Mark and how I, you know, I, sorry, I met Mark back in 83. So I got a lot of things to talk about on how I started to go through the uh, thing. One of the things that, you know, people don't know about Mark is he was very religious. He was a good friend of Neil Walsh, who wrote that book, uh, God, talking to God or something like that. I don't remember what the exact name of the book was, but uh, he spent a lot of time. And some of the, the big traders that came to the office here were being interviewed for the book on trading in the zone were interested in that book. I frankly uh, never got involved with it, of course, but that's, uh, that's neither here nor there. Let's take a quick look here at uh, one of the markets that we need to be watching here, folks. Uh, uh, well, this is a wild one, but I'm going to bring it up just for the heck of it. Just I'm going to bring this up. Here's your TLT. The whole world is talking about this today. Breaking out, new high ground. It's a new bull market. Yada yeah, bing, bada boom, bada bing. And then we're going to take a look at it here. Uh, I can't hear very well laughing out loud. Oh, no. All right. Uh, you mean there's 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 background noise, Bill? Is that what you're seeing in the videos? Because you know I've got top of the, I, 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 wow, you know what? I don't know why that is. Uh, yes, I hear it now. I hear crackling. I sure do. Wow, thanks, Bill. I yeah, thank you very much. I'll try to figure out what that is. Okay, here is the. Uh, here is the TLT going back just about seven months. Look at the far left-hand corner up there, folks, where that little red box is where it says 0.37. We are hanging right at the 382 as we reach this level of around 148, 149, whatever it is today with those multiple uh, things. So you, uh, so um, Terry didn't hear it. Okay, well, that's good. Well, I'll, I'll try. I, I can hear the crackling, though. I really can. It's like crack. Snap, crackle, and pop. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> and when you're deaf in your in your in your left ear, your right ear is all you got. So you got to be careful. Anyway, keep a keep a close eye on the uh, the TLT today. The whole world is expecting the Fed to come in and uh, rescue the day like they always do, and that's the main thing. Now, I wanted to bring one other market to your attention because uh, we talked about about it a little bit i wanted to share with you what we were looking at sunday night let me get this up here this is the natural gas this was as of uh, as of last week but the key that we were watching of course was on sunday night and if you'll i'll i'll just walk you through this what we were watching here you'll be able to see here that on sunday night you see we hit that 3823 where we made a slightly higher high than the other two days, I mean, by less than less than a hundred dollars, and now we've broken down badly. You see, we're dropped over thirty points in just a, a matter of a one two in two days. So that tells you that's a pretty significant uh, move to the downside. So what you want to be watching now is to watch for a little counter trend rally in the uh, what in the uh, what you call it, and you'll be and you should be okay. So if you have any questions, and I, oh, don't even bother to call in, folks. Al just told me that the board is lit up. There is just absolutely no way you're going to be coming in here and be able to get in talking day. If you if you get in, you'll be you should go play the lottery because that's how how difficult it is to get through here today. Now, let's look at ouch. Boy, did that hurt. That that was very loud. Hold on just a minute. Oh, a line just opened up, Al said. Shut the front door and raise the rent. We've got a little... Oh, my goodness. My thing is so loud. No wonder it's crackling. Wow. Uh, test. Uh, let me test this. Broadsword to Danny Boy. Broadsword to Danny Boy. Come in, Danny Boy. Is the sound still okay? I've just figured out how to stop that snap, crackling, pop stuff, I think. All right. Let's take a look here at the gold, far gold market. <laughs> You'll notice here that we were looking for this 382 rally up here at 1810. We got to 1816, uh, backed off a little bit. Uh, it's taken five days to get there. I still believe we've got a chance at the 786 down there at 17. Uh, 26 to 1730. Now, that's only 40 bucks away, but I still believe that we have a chance uh, of getting down to that level. So those are the main thing. The main thing we've got to do is to look at 
you know, the overall things that you're trading, folks, you've got to be able to put stops in, in in these markets nowadays because they are so very volatile. I mean, you can see the look, look what we did yesterday. We dropped 40 handles in the S&P and got it all the way back. Uh, Bo's asking to take a look at uh, August Hogs. Uh, there's a little bit of support there at that 102 level. I believe we, we pointed that out quite a bit. So let me bring this up for you, Bo. And you'll be able to take a quick look at it on these little hogs. Uh, there we go. Yep, let's get it down here. We got down as low. Hold on one second here. We got down as low as a broke. We broke 100, actually. And uh, and then we well, actually broke it quite a bit. But we went to the 78% level. And now we're back to the 102, 103. The last rally, if you'll notice there, after the big ABCD, there's Mr. Mendel brought again, or Mr. Prechter, whoever you want to talk about, Mr. Gartley. You'll see the ABCD right up there at the 120 level. And we came down. And the reason why I put that black line in there, you'll see the black line, which looks like it's in the middle of nowhere uh, at about 110. Look how we gapped below that line, folks. Whenever you gap like that on the way down, shut the front door and raise the rent. That means you're going lower, Bubba. That's basically all you're looking at. So keep in mind that's what's happening. Now, what we have here in the August dogs, Bo, if you look at the low we made on the 25th of June up to the 30th of July of June, then down into the 5th of, 5th of July, that gives us an ABCD pattern that will take us up to the 108 level. So that'll be the area where there's going to be really strong resistance uh, in that level. I would I wouldn't trust it, Bo, until it got to around to that 108. Selling it here, at one uh, far 63. Uh, I I don't know what the risk reward would be on that. So, but that's you know that's my two cents worth. I, I think of risk reward ver versus anything else. So that's the main thing that I'm trying to figure out as I look at some of these things. So let's remind ourselves that's what we're looking at. Let's take a look here. Uh, I'm going to be sending some videos out tonight on the uh, – hold on one second here – on the euro. We uh, we had a nice trade in that, took a very small profit, and we're ready to get back in again. As you can see here, we're expecting the euro to make a double bottom from where we back back on the 30th of March. I believe we're going to get down to this uh, 1172 level. Uh, we're trading around 1179 right now. So we got up another 60 pips to the downside. And I'd like to see them take that low out by just a little bit and then turn. That would be equivalent to that dollar index making another high up at around the 78% level. So uh, we're, we're far away from being the end of the U.S. dollar as people like you to try to think about it, but frankly, that doesn't mean anything. you got to look at the charts and decide uh, what direction you want to go. All right, we'll take a little – I think we got another break coming up here pretty soon. Uh, and I wanted to cover one other thing and before the break. I wanted to get this chart up here because I think this is an important chart here, and that is this New York Stock Exchange Index because it is a head and shoulders. Oh. Uh. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Right back. We're back. Sorry, folks. We're back. We're speaking with Steve from Austin, Texas. Steve, how are you doing? I'm doing fine, Larry. How are you? Above ground, living the dream, my friend. I'm okay. A little sad that Arch is quitting the business, but uh, he's due to retire. Yeah. So, what can I tell you? What can I help you with, buddy? You ask a question about silver? Yeah, yeah but before I, I, I do that, uh, is our friend from Austria ever going to make an appearance on your show again? I don't think so. I think he's moved on to other areas. I have to work on that, but uh, I don't think so right now. Okay, because he, yeah. I really liked his analysis, and you know, yes. you have you have so many good ones on there. I was just curious. Uh, I hadn't heard from heard him for a while, but well, so be he it. Travels, so. He, he travels a lot, and uh, he's he's nearing retirement age too. He's just a few years younger than Arch and I. Arch and I are both eighty, and Bill is uh, seventy four, I believe. But uh, I still get his stuff, and I I share the things that I think are super important uh, with yeah. you folks. But uh, what can I help you with on the silver, my friend? Well, uh, uh, Larry, on on the uh, silver, I know in gold you were you're looking for maybe one more move down to a lower level. Do you feel the same thing about silver falling? And if so, what yeah. point would you would would you think would be a reasonable entry point? Okay, uh, I posted the daily silver chart, and the high we made yesterday, Steve, was a perfect 61% retracement at 26.85. That was the high of the day. And yes, now sir. we're down. We're down about seventy cents from that level. Made lower lows today. Now, if we just go to the next level to look at, that would take us down about a dollar twenty to down about twenty four eighty per ounce in the silver. That would give us a really good spot to tell us uh, that's where we are. So I'm looking to get one more push down to around somewhere between 2520 and 2480 in the silver. And then uh, that would equa equate to 1730 in the in the gold market. So that that's what my two cents was. And as I've always mentioned, if you pay more than two cents, you've overpaid. <laughs> <laughs> but it is, that's, in your opinion, that's a place to maybe take a shot at the long side at uh, yeah, sure, stop. sure, because, yeah, yeah, you'll be in an uptrend, you know, you have higher bottoms, you're right at a 78% level there at uh, 2480, and so uh, that's certainly going to have an ABCD. Uh, right now, what we've done now is we've had a 10-day rally that stopped exactly at the 382, and, and and the same thing that happened in the uh, in the gold market, so that's telling you that's not ready to go yet. 
So yeah. that's my, you know, that's what I'm looking at. So I think we have one more move to the downside, and then we'll have a pretty good, uh, pretty good buying opportunity. I don't think this is over in the gold and silver by any stretch of the imagination. Okay. Uh, longer term, I still think we're going to be okay. But I'm looking, and of course, you know, one of the worst things you want to talk to is a, uh, a sold out bear because <laughs> I want the prices to go down, but they don't always uh, fulfill my expectations. So that's just a few of the things that I have to face every day. Sure. So in your jargon, you're, you're looking that you've got the AB and then the BC rally, and now you're looking yes. for a CD move down to about the 2460 level then, right? That, that's just about what I'm looking for. That would equate with higher bottoms now from the uh, going back over the last uh, year, and uh, it would be equivalent to that last sell-off we had at 2370. We rallied five, $5 an ounce. You know, to get up to 29, and now we're halfway through that. So one more move down to say that 2460 would uh, be a very, very low risk uh, buying opportunity. And as we get there, and if we do, we'll have some more information from these swings that are happening right now to give us an idea of where we are. That's the whole thing: is when you're when you're a pattern recognition swing trader, you start with the daily chart, then I move to the hourly. And then I move to the 15-minute for my entry, and that tells me how much I have to risk because I, I don't really know where it's going to go. And people you know, say, why am I paying you if you don't really know? Well, Bubba, let me explain to you. There's nobody that knows. That's that true. Much I, you know, nobody knows. I'm giving you what my best analysis happens to be, and it's pretty good. I'm wrong a lot, but I'm right once in a while. But what I'm waiting for is to get to the point where I only have to risk about 15 cents in silver, 15 to 20 cents, and then I'll say, yep, this is what I want to. This is what I want to try to do. So that's okay, what that, my that, game plan that, is. That answers my my follow up question: Is where would you put your stop? So usually on silver, you got to risk twenty cents, which is a thousand bucks. On gold, you got to risk pretty much a, you know thousand bucks because you're you're looking at a contract that's worth one hundred eighty thousand dollars, and uh, you know you've got to be able to put a stop in somewhere. And so that's where you'd have to uh, that's where you'd have to put it in. I, I know you don't look at ETFs, but the SLV 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 yes. Yeah, then that would be probably a equivalent to about a 22 level or 23 something Let, well since you paid the price of admission to come in here let's just pull this up right now we've got the old slv where we can look at it give me a second it would be very close to that yes sir hold on one second and we'll bring this up because you can see oh this is easy enough to do yep blow this up a little bit you're absolutely correct here it is we're uh, it looks like that's where we're headed too if you look at this really closely uh you're looking at right at 2320 that would be the uh 78 percent level and we've got that huge gap in here of course you know that was the fed time and uh right. that in itself was uh, that hurt a lot of people on that and then the rally back was only 382 just like we're seeing in silver so that sells us we're most probably heading to 2320 in this and that would give us close to uh the price that we're looking at and so these etfs are uh, I, I don't care for those very much they they don't give you any protection at all and uh, you know when you got these overnight markets uh, <laughs> they can really hurt you so i at least with the futures you can get out you know what i mean yeah on this etf you, the, the thing i look at there is that big gap too is yep. i know etfs they got gaps all over the place on a lot of them uh, yeah. but they generally it filled at some point so yeah the, the secret to that is make sure you live long enough till they're filled that's the key <laughs> how true is that that is very very true so well larry thank you i, I took too much of your time i appreciate oh, it so no, much no no you did really good i call in every day i love to talk to you steve i said it's one of my favorite places in texas is austin i love that place uh, it's too many people here now yeah, tell me about it. There are too many people in two. There are too many people everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, Larry, okay. thank you so much. Thank you, Steve. God okay, bless you, folks. Mike. You bet. God bless you, too. Let's uh, move on here. Another thing that we needed to cover here today is we got the Fed coming in here. Uh, Mr. Z is talking about if Discorn uh, did Discorn, has Discorn rallied. Uh, Z, is Mr. Mr. Z, is Discorn rallied above uh, 532 yet? Because I bought some down there at 21, uh, just as a flyer, because I thought that 19 might hold, and I, I had an order in, but I haven't seen anything going on here. So let's keep a close eye on that. Remember, folks, tomorrow is a big anniversary date. I'll share you. I'll share you a couple of things. Oh, we got a caller from Tennessee. Uh, uh, Steve, sure. are you there? 
Hey, we have to, we Jerry. have. Oh, Jerry. Oh, it's, it's Jerry. We've got you listed. Could you change your name for just a few minutes, Jerry, and uh, be Jerry uh, instead of Steve? <laughs> uh, I can be whatever you want me to be. Uh, I'll call you anything uh, but late for dinner. Hey, listen, we have to we have to pay a few bills here, but if you'll if you'll stay with me, uh, we'll start the conversation, and then when the music comes on, there it's starting now. So we'll be back in two minutes with Jerry from Tennessee. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, without them, life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at TFNN.com. Hi, folks. This is Steve Rhodes. Stay tuned for another great hour of the Trader's Edge, heard here at TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. We have Jerry from Tennessee. Jerry, what city in Tennessee are you from? Uh, I'm near Nashville. Oh, uh, I wanted uh, to ask you about uh, Mark Douglas and a guy named Bryce that used to, uh, he yeah. talked about. And yeah, Bryce blind. Gilmore. And, yeah. Uh, did you ever meet Bryce? <laughs> he lived at my house for five years, three months a year. Yeah, he would come out really? and spend two. Yeah, he spent two or three months at Pismo Beach uh, from eighty. 
eight through 93 in those five years. And I moved here in 94. He came here a couple of times, but uh, he had a bad auto accident and he basically left him pretty much blind. He does some a little bit of consulting now, I understand, but uh, he's had a lot of tragedy in his life, you know, and that's been tough on him. And But uh, he's a great guy, one of the hands down, one of the best tech. Well, he is one of the best technicians that I ever met in my whole life. But uh, yeah, I know Bryce very, very well. He was, uh, and Mark and I, Bryce, Rich Anderson, we hung around together all the time. And so yeah, I remember him quite well. Okay. Uh, I want to get your podcast tomorrow. So I'll look okay. for it on YouTube. Very good. Yeah, I'm going to do it off the cuff. I got some notes, but uh, you know, I met Mark in 83. I'll go through that and how I got started. But I, I was doing stuff with uh, Tony Robbins that I started back in 86 that uh, turned out to be really good. But Mark led me in that direction because he thought neurolinguistic programming was pretty good. And, and I still use the mantras, you know, the, the little visualizations every morning when I get up. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, but they certainly help me. They get me in the at least the right frame of mind. So that's important important. Hey, listen, thank you for calling in. I, I really appreciate it, and I do love Nashville. That's uh, home of Vanderbilt University. Yeah. I, I love Jerry that. Reed. Yeah. yeah, you got it, Jerry <laughs> right, Reed. Well, I, I appreciate thank you, Jerry. Time. Thank you kindly. God, yeah, God bless you, Jerry. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, boys and girls, and we will see you on the flip side tomorrow. May God bless, and have a wonderful day. 